Welcome, viewers. Shark TV episode 11. A. 11 A. <laughs> the, uh, Apologies. Yeah, the yeah. last one didn't get to the cutting room floor because Joe. Joe. Joe's Joe from Joe. Joe. Joe's, Joe's. Uh, Mac computer uh, his dropped, dropped a tyre. Yeah, his Apple's PCs. It, um, <laughs> his Apple's PC dropped a tyre. Can't believe it. Shot itself, absolutely. Yeah. But, anyway. so, apologies, viewers. Yeah. We're back bigger than Ben Hur. Are we what? Are we what? How was your weekend? I heard it was huge. It was okay. Yeah, yeah I had a fair run of the ball. Um, a couple of interviews, a bit of red carpet work myself. And... So uh, you lads did an exceptionally good job. I've seen some of the footage. However, viewers, uh, it needs to go to the editing floor. It does. <laughs> There's a bit of work to do. It needs to go to the sand room. It needs to go to a few places. It needs to go to a few places because uh, when everyone's into about their 16th or 17th corona, uh, some language gets displayed. Yes, yeah, some, some colourful language. And I th can confirm that it was uh, a lot of people who become uh, uh, nationalised Mexican citizens I after <laughs> copious amounts of... Uh, Jose Mourinho. Uh, not to say, not not to say the least, the host. Uh, there was a bit of Swahili going on there, and a couple of interviews late towards the end of the night. Lord Hebrew. That's right. Yeah. Right, on, let's go. Uh, six in a row. Six in a row at uh, at Westie Westie, which isn't a, it wasn't an easy uh, assignment, no. but we got there. No, no, got there relatively easy. A couple of injuries there. Mitchie Church didn't play for the Westie boys, but um, anyway, not that he would have made any difference. We went up there and clipped no. them anyway. Done. So well, DC's farewell tour. It is, yeah. yeah. Now with Johnny hoping, Farnham. Yeah, yeah, or him and Blaze Ferraro. Oh, God. Oh, they're having I'm a Johnny I told Farnham you. off. Oh, I'm, we're not mentioning no. his uh, easily anymore. Oh, However, we will a little bit. <laughs> we've got a, a little interview there later on. But anyway, all right, let's go. What do you want to start with, my I, great man? I think, I think what we need to do is start with uh, Ladies' Day this weekend against Glenroy. So this is the fourth uh, annual Ladies' Day. Yep. Two at Glenroy. Now, this is the second one yep. uh, with us. The day runs like this. Polaris Group, which is Joel Benici's... Uh, yeah, business. Business, dad, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, they've supplied these jumpers. Uh, and I'll just get you Fix to help me out here. Yep. Uh, and we'll hold this up. A hand each. There we go. Look at that. So this is the jumper, which has got the... Uh, that, that was in Shop Postman, wasn't it? Beautiful. It's got the white ribbon in there for domestic violence. Yes, good. And yep. uh, the Breast Cancer Network Australia yep. logo, which we could probably show a little bit better than what we are, but you, that you just hide that number. Side. Uh, Excuse the there. number, the shit number on the back. Yeah, it's no good. 38, Angelo Petraglia. Um, <laughs> <coughs> for those who but so what will happen is on the weekend, uh, the, the 19.5s, the uh, under 19.574, 98.9FM 98 yeah. 19s, the resis and the seniors will all wear their jumper. Uh, the players can purchase their own jumper. Yep. And all proceeds... Uh, we'll go to the Breast Cancer uh, Network Australia and to the White Ribbon Foundation. That's right, they're going to share the proceeds. All, pro all the proceeds will go through there. Mm. Saying that also, all home teams over the weekend, juniors as well and the seniors, will all wear a pair of uh, pink, the socks. pink socks, So, which is another initiative. So uh, West Waters and the parents have kicked in to, to get that over the line for all those home teams. Is that an entertainment mecca there of the uh, North West, West Waters? Yep, yeah, that's the one. But... What will happen over the weekend? Massive day. We'll have all women's umpires during the day, and I think Joe will put a picture up. We've got a picture of the uh, the EDFL article that had the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the women's, yep, yep. Uh, women's umpires there. The best on ground, as voted by the umpires, yep. uh, which has become a bit of a tra tradition, yep. wins the, the pink footy the that's pink been footy. played with. Yep. The umpires have actually made a combined jumper between the Hillside jumper and the Glenroy jumper. Can't wait to see that. That'll look sensational. We couldn't, we, uh, we couldn't get a copy of that or... Uh, a sample of that. We might be able tonight. to get a picture between now and yeah, yeah, when we yeah, get here. Yeah, yep. uh, and all senior players will sign a copy of that and that'll be auctioned off. Yeah, great. Uh, by, the, by the Umpires Association. And the Umpires Association are having their own function at a later date or somewhere else okay, that night. Um, Mark Turey, CEO, EDFL, and the EDFL have kicked, kicked in 500 bucks. Yeah, to the cost of the jumper, so lowering the cost of that jumper as well. Yep. So with, with Polaris, it's Thanks, got Mark, the Thanks, Mark, and the team line. of the EDFL. Um, so... All umpires, players, and coaches will take the white ribbon oath. Right. So it'll happen before. You're going to have a bit on, aren't you? Under 19.5s. <laughs> this day is possibly becoming a night match, <laughs> but all for a, a very, very good cause. Absolutely. So under before the 19 and a half, the yep. umpires will, and the, both teams will do that. Yeah. After the reserves, all the reserves players will stay on with the reserves umpires. Yep. And both senior teams will with, come on. With, will come on. Yeah. Terrific. With, all officials, umpires, players, coaches, yeah, wonderful. and all the officials. And the oath will be, I will stand up, speak out, and and act to prevent men's violence against women. This is my oath. Is Magnificent. The oath. It's 18 words, I think. Fantastic. 
I should have counted that, but I think that's no, what I think was. You've, done, you've done pretty well, mate. There's a, lot, there's a fair bit going on. All weekend. So we've got home games Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday yes. So there's be fairy floss machines. Uh, there'll be a pink sloopy machine there. Yeah. And you know, there'll be a percentage of that profit that, that's headed yep. again off to both of those charities. And for probably for the Chief, who uh, and probably Jambo, if he's watching this, the spit will be going on Saturday as well. Yeah, I've got a little heads up there from Jambo. He's um he's he's uh He's somewhat occupied Saturday afternoon yeah. with a VFL game, but he said he might just slide in there and grab yeah, one on the way be, through. It'd be an even better day had by all if Jambo's not there. Easy, uh, he's my man. But Sunday it kicks on. So Sunday there's a junior, junior barbecue after... Yep, final after home the, game. Final, uh, final home. junior games for the uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, home and away game. Uh, so festivities continue at 4.30. So we encourage all families uh, of all junior players to... Yeah, to get there, down. and well, yep. the entire club for that matter. Yep. Uh, and the bar opens after the final siren of the junior game. So, of course, you can't sell alcohol at a, and no, at a junior, junior game. game. No, so, no. as soon as that final siren's gone... Open the bar up, we'll have a couple of Robbie boys. Davis will be rolling his way in there. We'll probably find Moddy's come back. <laughs> yeah, we'll just scrape Moddy yeah. out of the beer tray. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, that's, that'll, that's a massive weekend um, for both, both Glenroy... Hill yeah, and, and, and the umpire. Absolutely. It's, it's worth noting too, um, I know we've got thousands and thousands of viewers out there, but um, my, my big mate Muzza up there at Glenroy and Clemo, yep. um, cheerio to you boys and thanks very much for, for supporting uh, the day that's going to be held at our club and it's a top, top of the table clash, so there's every possibility that uh, we may not be able to do this next year. And I'll and mate. Uh, oh, one of us hopefully won't be able yeah. to, and no, hopefully it's not you, Glenn Rock. Um, <laughs> but old mate Ozzy, uh, so old postman, I play cricket against Ozzy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he's the only bloke I know that can take the cricket field in a woolen jumper. Oh, really? No shirt, no just shirt. a woolen <laughs> jumper. And he said to me, he says, while he was playing Ozzy, he says, can you go to me back and grab me some aftershave? I don't know what he's playing. Oh, I don't know. He's unbelievable. All right, that's that. Senior senior coaches will wear uh, from Hillside, will all, all, all coaches in area will wear yeah, that. So it's lovely to see... Uh, Burns' bald bonce in a, oh, yeah, no. in, a, in a nice white cap. Him and Terra. Terra's yeah. going to have to wear one too. Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know if they're... We'll make uh, him. We'll make we'll Terra. Make him, yeah. well, we're going to make you wear a hat. We actually might make Terra wear that hat for sticking your buddy beak into our three-quarter time huddle on, on last Saturday against Westy. He's he, not bad, he, is he? He's good to You're a serial really. pest, Terra. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's done. Well done. Well done to you, and thanks to Anne-Marie Mason for providing massive, all those details. Right, eh? We're going to go back to... Uh, Saturday, uh, up down there at Willowbrook Reserve. Let's get to the real thing that happened Saturday, mate. Just get it straight out of the way. What is that doing on my set? Mm, look at that. That's my set. It's my show. See that? That's the Whack Off Cup. The Whack Off Cup. Yep. So what, what is the Whack Off Cup? Well, it's a traditional golf tournament that I play in each year and uh, yep. just so happened to get the chockies this week. We played up in Cairns at uh, the Magnificent Paradise Palms. Oh, so what? How many how many uh, your mates go away there? Much as your your own or no no no? There's no. there's a combined eight. Yeah, so eight guys go off, and you're promoting the fact you want to whack off. Yes, get that away. <laughs> Next, <laughs> it is worth noting though, and this is to all the football fans out there, that uh, one of our um, one of our mates uh, who played footy at Abbas, and his initials are Michael Downey. Uh, A.K.A. Pammy, yeah. uh, he went out and hit the tiles. Well, we all did on Friday night, and Pammy, uh, he he didn't make the first tee. That's I absolutely yeah. should ask. I can confirm that we also had a couple of good twos footballers running around oh. on the golf course, eh? Yeah, that's the right. The old boots that are sun. Yeah. Cop that, buddy. <laughs> you did win Another a medal. Another has anyway, been. Anyway, 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 move along. Right, let's go. Uh, you went down to uh, West Meadows. So, so the under-19.5, Charlie Maggs' boys kicked the dew off the ground. How did they go? Uh, not real well. Not we're well at all. The Hillside Sharks, 6 12 48. Bad kicking. Uh, bad to, football. To yeah. the West Meadows, apparently sad. To the West Meadows Tigers, 13 11 89. Uh, former Glenroy player, actually. Out kick. He Ouch kicked kick. two. And Raphael. Is that how we say? <laughs> I don't know. Is Donatello going to mention in there? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Raph got one. Maka, everyone loves a good jerk up. And Jai Wright kicked one. Who cares about Jai Wright? No one. Oh, really? No. How do you go Saturday night? Don't know. I don't actually think he was there. Oh, wasn't he? No, I don't know. You could, you would have, you would have picked him out. He's, he's yeah, about yeah. six foot twelve. No, I possibly could not have. Best players: Nicky T, uh, Charlie's young boy, Angie Mags, who you know, suffered a pretty bad injury, from what I can understand. Under seventeen player Angie Mags. Under seventeen player Caleb Simmons. Caleb Daniels, no. Caleb Simmons. Caleb Simmons. He doesn't wear a shy. helmet. Under seventeen player Riley Murdoch, Nick Cockalaris, and Peter. Peter G. Peter G. Gee. All those boys who play under-17s, they came up and helped Charlie out because we were a bit light on for numbers. We've got a couple of injuries kicking around. They went down. 
Reserves. Reserves. T Homo. Yeah, no good. Thomo. Yeah. What happened to uh, Harry Charters? From all reports, he done a hamstring. Mm-hmm. Just about a year. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it was a shocking injury. He was, was it? On Thursday night, yeah. yeah. He pulled up really lame. Did he? Yeah, so much so tonight he was out there training. Very good. Good on you. Good on you, Harry. But the, res- the reserves, so they've, they've lost old Thomo. He's, he's uh, not really impressed. He's thrown the titty of the prem? No, he's thrown baby bunting out of oh. bunting. <laughs> he's just gone. Oh, I am putting up with this. Uh, I think... Did we mention, I think, Joel Hayes tomorrow night in the fines? Oh, it's the other thing, too, for the ladies' day. Yabba's going to donate all the fines, too. For, um, Is the he really? Yeah, does the he weekend. know that yet? I hope he does now. He does now. Uh, but Joel Hayes uh, came off, kicked the water bottle, the poor defenceless water bottle, and carried on like a two-bob watch, yeah? which is unbelievable because it's he's, uh, he's uh, under-quoting a two-bob watch. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's running a thruppany bit. Oh, no. He's too. All right, let's go. Reserves. Hillside Sharks. Six again. Shocking kicking. 6-15-51 to the West Meadows Tigers. 9-8-62. The margin wasn't great. Only yeah. 11 points, but... Where the breeze... Uh, there's a breeze straight down the middle. To, yeah. to the... Uh, what, to the, the well, to the, right, to the right of the dial. Uh, yeah, if well, you're standing on that side of the ground. Oh, which side's that side? Uh, the freeway side. The freeway side. The Micklem side. Road side. The Micklem Road. So no, I was going to lift the screen. Oh, was it? It was blowing yeah. the opposite yeah. way. Yeah, right. so straight in the middle. But, yeah, 9-8 to 6-15, that doesn't help. No, it doesn't help no. at all. Anyway, um, <laughs> gee whiz, these, squeak, these floorboards are easily squeaky around this place. Uh, in our studio. Uh, Braden Hill kicked two. Lukey Polentano, the Didge, Fish, Liquid Paper Man. All kick one each. Oh, oh, he's not happy with that too, ever. Isn't he? No. That's good. Did you say Liquid Paper Man? I did. Tough mm. titties. Is yes, right. absolutely. Yeah. Best players is Hard as a. Hard as a. He's back. He's After that slight little knee injury, he's back. He's back. Hilly. Yep. Fish, Salve, and Jacob Tompkins. Yeah, he's going all right too, Tonks. Now he's going well. Mm. Is he not carrying an injury or is he just, we can't go there? No, I, th- you know, I think he's going okay. He's, he? he was found to be in a slow cooker for a while. There's <laughs> some small on his but I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, right, who gives a shit now? The big dance. The big dance. Yeah. Toss won by West Meadows straight to the to the breeze. They went. They kicked. It, they kicked with it first we had up. A couple of big ins this week too. We had Postman Pat. He came in to deliver a couple of messages. There you go. What we issued him with the GPS and always just in case. <laughs> yeah, both. The Leyland brothers on the other side of the field. That would have confused the out. shit out of him. No, anyway. yeah, no, he was pretty good. He was all right. I think he ran about eleven point two. I think. Yeah, and yeah. you can't and still done, can't walk. And done under that arse slap, and then you get around and just. Nah, no one, no one slaps on arse slap. I do. Let's go. Uh, 16, 17, 1, 13, defeated West Meadows, 7, 14, 56. Mm. Fantastic game for three quarters it was. Mm. Last quarter was just a, well, just hurry up, mercy rule, I heard, just a clock. <laughs> I heard the clock, I wasn't overly impressed after the game yet on the ground. Look, you just go through the motions when you, you yeah. sort of, that, yeah. that, you know, by that. Too. But that's a, what's a 55 point victory, so, maybe even more, 68, whatever, something. Whatever it is, 56, 13, who gives us stuff? Anyway, 57. the man who is now leading the goal kicking in the comp. My man. Are you claiming him now, are you? Mate, me, and, me and Beams have a kick every game. Before the game, me and him, we spot each other out like two lovers. Oh, of course. Beam has kicked five, white hot form. Jacko Volpato, three. If you're going very good. Freight train pertain, two. Johnny Depp, uh, little Jakey Hazick. Jakey Hazick snap goal. I don't know if he actually has any footage of it. He's got to be outside 50 with a snap. Let me see if I can dig that he, out. He put it up there and, and the wind just took it. I oh, did it? <laughs> Go He's on. about two foot six. He's eight half a yeah. size of Jacko. Uh, Vic Mick, Oscar Brown in for his first game of the season. Yeah, first Adam, game. Yep. Not a bad goal either. Lee I am and the rock star kicked one. Rock is doing his doing his uh, doing his work, which is really he is. nice. Best players, of course, the man that kicked five, Beamer. Beamer. Uh, Johnny Depp, Vic Mick, Lucky Rainer's in pretty good touch. Mm-hmm. Geordie Sinclair, hard as a cat's head. Yeah. And the great Jacko. Jacko yeah. just he keeps. Was, they're all good. Oh, yeah, they were, weren't they? Yeah. Was uh, the only bad player in the day was probably Blaze. That's right. Didn't yeah. even play. No. No. Very good. No good. So that makes it six in a row. Just a quick shout out to Rob Coletta. Enzo the Barber got up. Oh, did he? And uh, we all jumped on Enzo the Barber. Yeah? Yeah, we took the tens. Oh, no yeah, worries. Thanks for sharing that tip. I would try, mate, but you're having a whack off. <laughs> <laughs> That's all sort of working beautifully yeah. together, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Uh, moving right along. So we've got a couple of interviews hung over from... Episode yeah. 11. Uh, Shark TV player of the day against Oak Park. Oaks Park, Sharks Park. Oaks Park, Sharks Park. Uh, this guy was brilliant, and he is Johnny Depp. Welcome, viewers. Woo-hoo. Shark TV, check these out. Hey, new You're level. Welcome. Have a look, have a look. Yeah, oh, we're up, yeah. we're up. Shark TV, we're up and about. Now, listen, hey. we've wow. just uh, beaten Oak Park by quite a few. Uh, yes, about 12. 
Twelve goals. It was magnificent. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Dave Blaze Ferraro played 300 games. Can you believe it? No, I cannot. Right. Honestly, can't. Anyway, don't worry about him. He wasn't best on ground. But no. the man that wears the number 14 jersey from Coburg Greenvale. Those that don't know him, Jay Depp. We're in Hollywood. We are in special. Come on in, Jules. Hammer, come in here. Congratulations, Congratulations mate. mate. Jump on in the middle anyway. here, mate. You win the 24-hour uh, towing, 0423 Sinclair Towing, player of the day. Thank you. First crack at it, mate. What was it like? Uh, it was good, good to, uh, to get the win. Knew it was going to be a hard day and yeah. all the boys fought pretty hard, so... Yeah, yeah don't mind talking, eh? Don't <laughs> mind talking. Talk us through your first 10 or so weeks, mate, and what you you were going to be frustrated there. What was it like today? Um, well, first, first year at the club, coming down, didn't know what to expect really, and then, yeah, sort of the boys just accepted me and then it's just gone from there, building sort of thing. No, no award-winning shows at Greenvale or Coburg this year, come down to the quality. Well, it's Hollywood. Great. It's Hollywood meets Hollywood. That's it. That's <laughs> it, mate. It really? Congratulations, right. mate. Well done. First Shark TV Player of the Day. I'm sure there's well many done, more Jules. to come. Good boys. No Off worries. you go, Off mate. You. Off you. Off you go. He was uh, reasonably fantastic. I felt. I can't believe how nervous these guys get in front of them. They shit themselves. Absolutely, blue it yeah. up. All right, now this is it. I'm done. This is it. No more. I'm never right. going to say anything. I'm going to have a drink. Let you talk. Ferraro. B Ferraro, not the rock star, B Ferraro, his final interview on Shark TV. Fire in there, Jay, please. Here he comes. Okay. Is it uh, time for the great man, isn't it? It is. Look, 300 you know, games for one of the worst blokes that ever donned the jumper. It's quite embarrassing, to be honest. It really is. Just excuse me for a moment. Yeah. The guy's played 300 games. He's coached premierships. He's mm. played in premierships. He's captain premierships. He's uh, under-15 coach. Of girls. His after game ritual is to have a hot dog and a Jim Beam with zero coke. <laughs> is that the biggest oxymoron you've ever seen? <laughs> oh in your my life? goodness. Come on in, Come in here, Blazy boy. Congratulations, well my done, friend. Buddy. Well done, bud. Get in there. How that, was it? Yeah. How was it to play the 300 games for your one and only club? Oh, it was great. Great day. Nice crowd. Some mm. for four points. Now we're playing finals, which is. Great for the club, first time. We're not mentioning the F word around here. The cocker will go berserk. Did, did you think when you ran through the banner, mate, there was a video, funniest TV moment coming up? Yeah, I shit myself. I, <laughs> I ran through hands first like this, just, just to make sure I didn't trip over. Well, mate, in all seriousness, this is a wonderful achievement by you um, and all your family. Congratulations. Uh, well deserved. And uh, we're going to give you the kettle chips today. Because yeah, we know, mate, it, was, it wasn't the, the, uh, the award you were after. It was the chips. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, He's looking at, what, 350? Can you get there? I'll try. Maybe Very good. Ones, but I'll try. You'll try. <laughs> We're signing off from uh, the back of the sheds. You, you, you got it down, Pat, haven't you? Where, where's, the, where's the chief? I haven't seen him beyond the back gone. of the sheds. He's, He's gone. Not <laughs> you. Signing off, viewers. We're going in to have a, fr a victory frothy with the great man that's just played 300. Signing off from Shark TV. Never to be seen of or heard of again. Big shorts. Big shorts. No Oh, good. no, you know what? Well, I have to. Why? He got life membership Saturday night. Oh, shit. Did he? he Were did. they giving him away? Yeah, uh, uh, clearly it was a revel prize. No, yeah. <laughs> he must have been the only one that bought the no. ticket, but no, look. Well, the fans have said that they want they wanted more interviews, so um, should we run, do you, do you want to go to Jockers straight away? Or should we just break yeah, it up? I mean, for weeks he was handing us, yeah. Oh, I yeah, want to be on Shark TV, I want to be on Shark Rita TV. Rita Burns kept sending me text yeah. messages, can you get my husband on Shark TV for Christ's sake? Right, eh? Jack Here... Burns said, I won't crash me car. <laughs> 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 Put the old man on. Uh, here's the cocker after, we were cocker hoop yeah. after we baked Oaks Parks. Oaks Parks up at Sharks Parks. Fire in there, Joe, please. Welcome back to 98.9 Northwest FM. Hashtag, where's Jambo? Who cares? Right. Now, we're, we are still back at the sheds. The fiends have called for more interviews, so we've gone straight to the top. Right to the very, very top. Don't mention the great finals. man. Don't mention the F word. No, Jock Burns, in you come, please. In trouble. Welcome, mate. Thank you. Haven't seen you all day. Congratulations, Jocker. Thank you. What a privilege it is to be here. Shark TV. Eh? You must be nervous, mate. After the big week in the uh, Strathmore Bank Community Division One. Yeah. yeah. Knives, knives are out. Yeah. <laughs> you must be bluestone in them, I tell you. Nice presses over there. <laughs> I'm in trouble. You are in big, big trouble, mate. But, yeah. hey, listen, the assistants today were unbelievable. No, they weren't. They were shocking. There was a couple of them that were good. There was a big, fat one didn't do much, but the rest of them were good. And, and listen, I've had a word to Charlie Denaro. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, don't, don't talk to him about the vice president like that. <laughs> That's Jesus. Don't do that, mate. But 
In all seriousness, we've only lost three games so far, and this is where we fell into a bit of uh, a three-game losing streak last time. What have we got playing going forward? Play better footy, you know. I think we're playing some confident brand of footy now, and we're going to come down to you know, you know the game plan, Luke. I won't give it away on Shark Teeth. I don't think he, I don't think he does know the game plan really. Um, but yeah, no, we'll stick to what we're doing and keep going. You, you can come play with us if you want, boys. <laughs> <laughs> couple of nice Oak Park boys just leaving. <laughs> but all, all the, all the uh, good players are, are up and about now. I mean, Jacko, Beamer, Vic. Yep. It's all heading in the right direction for us. Injury list is really small. Um, which is really, really good to see, and a great place for the club to be in. 19's a uh, top five, yep. top four. Reserves are on top, on top, and we're, we're second. So the place is going in a really good place. Today, you spoke at a function today with uh, all the volunteers and the way the, the club gets around each other. It must be a great place to be around. Yeah, I can't believe how good a place Hillside is. I, and before I got here, the perception of the club wasn't great, and since I've been here, I've been nothing but surprised about how good a football club it is from the ground up. You know, the junior volunteers and everyone that wants to put their hand up, this club is unbelievable, you know. Um, where I come from, you know, there's, it was hard getting anyone to do anything, but this every, here everyone just puts their hands up and wants to help out, so it's really good. Great place. And, I, and of course, the exposure of the Shark TV has given the place has just been enormous. Oh, phenomenal. <laughs> just <laughs> phenomenal. Universally what known. <laughs> We've even got Johnny Depp that's uh, playing Hollywood. It's Hollywood meets Hollywood. He played well today, Johnny Depp. He did. Yeah. Very well, very well. Well, we're not going to muck around here. I reckon he's spoken enough. We certainly have spoken enough. We're going to go back in and have a couple of quiet f- celebratory froffies. Uh, you know the signal. Signing off from the back of the Sheds Shark TV. Hope you're happy, Rita. <laughs> he, he's probably the only one. And it's all, it's all the work he's done with Jambo and EDFL TV 98.5 and all oh. the TV shows. He's the only one that doesn't shit himself when he gets in between us. No, that's... Well, he doesn't display it anyway. No, he does. Anyone, anyone does. And I think the funny part of that interview is when those two kids from Oak Park walk past. Yeah, I didn't mind that. Like, oh, can we come and play at the Sharks next year? No, you can't. Yeah, off. Can push on. Oh, yeah. yeah, move along. Nothing to say here. All right. That's that segment done. Look at likes. Look at likes. Well, some, some great feedback. Yeah, you did get uh, some good feedback. Uh, yeah, and um, to Nick Pachulo, get stuffed. <laughs> Don't try and threaten me just because no. you're a great big Jabba Hut looking thing. No. And, and there's more to come just on that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we, I reckon we're off to a pretty good start on this one. Up at uh, Sharks Parks after Oaks Parks victory. Uh, here's uh, Jakey Ferraro. That's Blaze's oh, brother. I didn't know where you were running there. I didn't, right. And that's, of course, Hillbilly Jim. Oh, <laughs> there is a resounding resemblance <laughs> between the two, isn't there? And I'll tell you, he was in dead set Dennis Lilly form. Was he? he was, he was like, coming off the fence? Oof, and flicking, flicking the sweat off the brow he was on the Saturday Goodness night. gracious. Okay, one of my favourites, the tough man, Vic Mick. Now, there's a little bit of opposition around this one. You don't think he looks like him yeah, at all. I think he's more a Jason Saddington look alike, but you've gone with this guy, which yeah, is... I think this is pretty good. Which, what's his name? Brandon Ellis. Brandon Ellis, there mm. you go. How do you like that? Uh, and old mate Denaro. <laughs> he's unfortunately going to... No, <laughs> actually, fortunately, he's going yeah. to get a run every week. He's not going to have any idea what's going on here. But this is Charlie Denaro, and this is Mimi off the, oh. <laughs> off the Drew Carey show. There is a resounding resemblance yeah. between these two. You and I should take this shit up. I think it's the... Uh, it's all in the, in the eyeshadow or something. Is it, is it eyeshadow up there, is it? I don't know. Mm. Last one. I, I don't know why we're doing that one, but anyway. So this has come back from Rob Coletta. This is how pathetic the man is. Mm. Uh, this is Sebastian Bacheri and Elliot Goblet. I'm actually not sure that there is a resemblance there at all. No, and I think that's all because Ellie Goblet doesn't have the official apparel on. No, that's very true. Because if he did have it there. And here's a couple of other lookalikes. This is a flog. And this is Lyndon Way. Oh, no, there's <laughs> only one picture there. I can't wait till the next week's over with it. There's no more junior games on. Well, I don't have to open up team app to see Lyndon's head. It's three a week. At, at least. He's got the biggest forehead I've ever seen on yeah, a bike. So there's all these parents that have bought, you know, their banners and paid what is it? About a hundred bucks now, yeah. And he's made his son's own one last year. Remember yeah, these tissue paper? Tight ass. Give us a spell. Yes. Right. Okay. That's look alike's done. What else have we got? All we're going to do is have a top of the table clash at Sharks Parks Shark at two fifteen on Saturday. Yeah. It's a broadcast game too, so it is. Uh, Julia Montensano, she won't be uh, gracing us with her dulcet tones because she's going to be doing some work out on the ground as an umpire. Oh, I mean, Stacey might be up there as well. She's Yeah, I think yeah, so. I think they're all going to be there, the girls. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. And you know what? I'm, I'm sure um, I'm sure uh, Muzzer and Clemmo would agree that normally when we have the ladies do our uh, umpire the games for us, they're the best we have all year. They're bloody fantastic yeah. at it. They are, actually. Mm. Yeah. Right, that's it. Top of the table clash, 215 Sharks Parks. Do not miss it. Be there or be square. This is going to set the tone for the rest of the year. Absolutely. So we've got after that, we've got the bye, or Tuller the bye. Tuller the bye. No, 
We, well, whatever. Oh, tell her. We're if playing. We're playing Airport West last at home. So four weeks left. Yeah. And then finals. Yeah. And we're finals bound. All bound for Morningtown. That's right. Thanks to the Durham. Uh, stay tuned for some ball footage next week. Yeah. Caroline. Absolutely. Uh, signing off. Great to be back in this just, cold weather. There was a couple of interviews with. Um, Marcel Marceau. Oh, was there? Yeah. I just can't wait to yeah, see all of this. mimed everywhere. Up and not to mention the volume and the, uh, and, and the, oh, the, the microphone stuff up to these I two guess. muppets because the chief was away. Hang on a minute. We ran with a bit of turn it up. We <laughs> yeah. forgot to turn it on. You forgot to turn it on. <laughs> Viewers turn signing it. off from episode 11, Shark TV. Can't wait. Woof. <laughs>